Let's just do time attack stuff first. Sparks wanted to try out for the Banjo Kazooie games. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but uh, speaking of the uh, Sparrow 4, uh, this is like a precursor to one of the levels in my game, so uh, yay, question mark. Uh. And yeah, the actual saw again, the music, the wrong music track is playing. Yeah. Honey Speedway's actual track is a bit more moody sounding. I do yeah. hope it's uh, not not the same trilogy. I do hope Reignited Trilogy fixes that. Yeah, I feel like like everyone will be upset if they don't use the intended music. Cause like that would just basically tell uh, tell us like you didn't properly do your research. Or, or they or they just have make fun of it and just be like. Okay, let, let's give them the sorceress fight the most jolly music ever. That'll be hilarious, but no, I wouldn't like the intended tracks. Alright, All right, cool. <clears throat> <sighs> no, let's do the hunter one. I don't remember this hunter mission being too bad. Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. I like how hunters, like, uh, these are like all hunters' missions and stuff. Spirula has uh, basically nothing to do with them, but he waits for Spyro to show up just for him to actually do it for some reason. <laughs> this is very this is pretty easy though as well as like mission square because you can afford to bomb into a lot of stuff and still win. Failing a bit too badly. Hopefully I can still do this. You really have to try to lose that, to be quite honest. I didn't even drop the egg. Yay! Now I have to do the race. Doesn't he have like a normal voice in Hero's Tale? Uh, I wouldn't know, I didn't play it, but I think it's the same voice actor from this. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is when the races start to get a little bit more strict and there's less room for error. Um, at least in the hard mode variant, because it, like, again, there's a uh, difficulty in uh, scaling. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a, a star in there. That was a free star. I've already get, I've already screwed this up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but like, at least in the difficult and um, in the hard mode variant of this, this there's like barely any room for error in the in this and in the, in the uh, next one. So, you know, just make sure you go through all the star the star rings and 
kind of take my like mini shortcuts I guess other than that there's not much to say about these so fly through these rings I forget that's not even a line yeah. it's like it's, uh, something ring superman I don't know you must fly through my rings or something yeah, I forget what the gateway actually says. Yeah, when are you playing Superman 64, by the way? Never. <laughs> A full playthrough? Never. <laughs> A stupid stream for lols, maybe. <laughs> if I can get a N64 emulator running properly. Because I, I ain't buying the actual game. <laughs> you bought worse. Mm, that's debatable. He didn't know. I mean, how much do copies of that game even go for? Sixty-four dollars. That'll be funny. See, I wouldn't even be able to play it on the original, on like original hardware because I would have to get a new N64. Thank goodness, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna get an, a new N64 uh, to play one of the worst games ever. Because I, I, I'm not too, because I'm not, I'm, the reason I'm not too upset about uh, my N64 not working is because most of the games I have in it I can play elsewhere anyway. Um, so, some on uh, being better versions, so it's not really much of a loss. But even so. Yeah, if I, if I ever did su Super Mario 64, it would, it would be like a one-off one -off stream, just... Maybe I'll do that for the next April Fools or something, I don't know. You yeah, guys should just have Batman Arkham Asylum on a thumbnail, and then Super Mario 64. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually do anything for April Fools this year, so. Although you wanna, you wanna do your. Well, I shouldn't say it here, <laughs> because the uh, I don't want people to don't want people to know about it right uh, before it happens. But may as well let the cat out of the bag. I want to do a Kingdom Hearts Let's Play for your channel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Scra Scrappy wants to. Uh, f um, Play Kingdom Hearts for C's brain, totally. <laughs> Don't know which one, but <clears throat> it's totally gonna be days. Of course it is. is. Is it still the only one you played? Yes. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> you should. You should at least play the um. The, the uh, numbered game. Uh, excuse me, numbered ones. Dave is numbered. <laughs> the wrong kind of numbered. Uh, I, I honestly don't know, remember which levels have Hunter in them, so, uh. The cutscene will play in this version, right? <laughs> uh, the, the boss? Uh, yeah, but we're not gonna do that today, we don't have enough time. Okay, uh, I'm not bothering. I, I'm not doing uh, family boxing. I don't have the patience for that today. So, um. I can check to see what levels have Hunter in them. Yeah. Don't know if there's something. You, don't know if there's anything you can find, but it'll help. Because I'm pretty sure Hunter's gonna be captured in, like, the next level. Sure, we did finish the speedway, right? Yeah, cool. So, got fireworks factory and Ch charmed ridge. I am not touching frozen altars with a 10 foot pole. So 
I guess I'll just cut this out in, in post. Lost Fleet and... Uh, we did Lost Fleet and the Speedway, I think that's it. Jeez. Alright, let's see what's in Fireworks Factory. How uh, does it say what's in there, or do we want to go there? I'm checking to see. Uh, sorry, I was talking to myself. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Hunter shows up in that level. Okay, what about Charmed Ridge? Uh, wow, there really aren't a lot of levels in this home world. What about the other two? Oh. But when, when the second game has so many, it's so weird, like, how, like... I don't think Hunter shows up in that one either. Oh, so he's only in Lost Fleet and the Speedway? I, is he in Frozen, Frozen Altars? Because I swear he isn't. Oh man, let's see. Let check that quick, because I... Uh, oh man. <laughs> no, he is not in... Frozen Altars. Okay, so uh, Charmed Ridge or for, uh, Fireworks Factory? Uh, which one should we go? Uh, it's your choice. Hmm. Alright, let's do Charm. Uh, actually. Oh, whatever, we're going in there anyway. Because I, I was going to say, I don't know if we can finish. Because I, I, know, I know. I'm pretty sure we can't finish Fireworks Factory. No, I have requires Agent 9. Yeah, and I... We urgently need your I'm not sure if we can the finish the uh, Charmed Ridge either, but I could be wrong. Our castle and captured wrong. our princess. If we don't stop them right away, remember. they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. This might have the, uh, Sergeant Bird mission with the, uh, the Yeah, the, the cat, which, cat witches. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, we, we should be able to finish this, uh, level. Oh, well, hi. Don't know how that missed me, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not <coughs> sure if he's supposed to have a gem or not. But... <laughs> uh, this has a similar. Uh, well, that. The, the the enemy like transforming that guy into a, a big the guy right away, uh, kind of gave me spiral one flashback yeah spiral one flashbacks to that one level where it's like the the druids yeah I think. yeah it's like when they go into into the darkness and they they turn into like these hideous monsters and when when it's like light um um it's um they're like cute little like, 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 really cute little thing, uh, creatures. Fire One has some interesting atmosphere. Yeah. That was one of the, that was probably one of the, uh, the best levels of Spire One. These enemies do just generally give me a Spyro, Spyro One vibe, because they were like, 
kind of wi high high mining kind of bags. There are kind of like wizard enemies that like chain like move platforms and stuff around just to well, try and Spyro, today is your uh, lucky day. The uh, wizards troll you, I guess. a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, it's kind of strict. So you kind of have to, like, try and get out prematurely. We're gonna have to get those guys higher. Like even when they're dead, the the uh, stairs are still can still, can still go up, which is funny. Oh gosh, I'm getting sunset vista flashbacks. Oh, Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. Everything goes back to sunset vista. Well, this is um. um no, nowhere near as tight as that. <laughs> Cause, uh, just... I mean, it's a similar amount of time you get, but... The way it's, like, laid out is just a lot easier. I don't know how... I don't really know how to explain it, but, uh... Oh, come on. And I just realized the uh, Sparks is dead, so, um, that ain't good. We're gonna have to backtrack, so let's find if we, uh, yeah, get some stuff for now. But yeah, Spyro, and Spyro himself, uh, the difficulty usually uh, isn't from the platforming, unless you're, unless you're Spyro 1, I guess. And this game definitely has a bit more trickier pa uh, platforming stuff than Spyro 2 did, but, not, by, but uh, not to the extent of Spyro 1. Yeah, you're, you're not really gonna be dying often in these games. Then again, you aren't really going to be dying much in, uh, in collector funds, like period. I died a lot in Jack and Daxter. Yeah, there's... There's like, um, select a few, uh... I mean, I... I've always loved how that gem has looked in these games. Yeah, same. I, I like how they wait for me to go over here for them to like pop up. That's funny. Yeah, there, there's there are a few there are some like collector forms that, that can be considered pretty difficult. But like in, in terms of like just dying in them and stuff. But. Hi Spyro. They're usually, they're usually challenging in just trying to complete them. And the other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Yeah, uh, I said this like earlier on, like uh, in one of the Sheila sections. I like how her model just stopped. By the way. <laughs> Yeah, Azrael's just kind of looking around like he's expecting someone to jump them. Yeah. But she, her model was just, like, not animating at all. That was funny. Like, um, no one went into the portal, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's supposed to, like, do... I, I, I think it's the fairy. She just kind of pops up near the, near, near the thing for some reason. Near the rocket? Yeah, the rocket. Uh, the... <laughs> That's a nice sound effect. Um, over here is the... 
Okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that after we clean up this place up. Uh, but um, was it this is the 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 level's plot is like how I was talking about in one of the Sheila sections how there's sometimes like a little nice story twist. It was like the uh, like um, the 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 characters think this is like a forced marriage when they they just. Like they want it to happen, so they just like go like screw you guys. We're going somewhere else. Uh, I don't think you got a gem from that guy. I think it's because I uh, got him last time before I died. Good. Yeah. But yeah, like Jack, Jack and Daxter. Uh, I can definitely feel feel that in um, one of the. There's a golden goose One of the, the easier collector phones to I die in, especially in the so sequels, like, like two, two, um, especially from what I've heard. Sprout, but... ultra super gross yeah, two isn't really a collector phone. No, it's more like a shooter platformer pseudo GTA um, hybrid. Yeah, isn't like, isn't the first game really the only one considered like considered a proper collector phone? I guess. Yeah. I think it's because, like, the way the game feels, it's like, it feels like a regular platformer, uh, with collector elements, I guess? I don't know, it's good to explain. Because, like, games like uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, you can feel, have, like, the, um, have a, a collector nature to its core, with the platforming stuff. Uh, added on top of it. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? Or... I, I guess. Uh, uh, this is like. And that was a, uh, like the, um, what was it, the, um, the thingy level, um, Zephyr, uh, where it had, like, like those seeds and stuff you had you could, uh, plant. This is basically a, a more in-depth version of that, and, um, uh, can you please go back here? <laughs> yeah, this is a, a slightly more in-depth version of that, and, uh, but, and it has some uh, clever moments where you have to really kind of think outside the box a little bit. And it's basically like one of those things where it's an idea that Spyro 2 had, but um, Spyro 3 just do, uh, does it. Uh, a generally better, better job at using it and does more creative things with the concept. Like similar to um, the, um, the mini game with the uh, with the pet we did before uh, earlier. So I kinda like that. Just Oh yeah we get like two eggs from this I think. That's nice. I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. Yeah, but, uh, Shelly, um, ah, I lost my train of thought. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take the two of our seat? Imagine the laid out. Yeah. And like how like they do you f they uh some of the stuff they some of the mini games in this game are like improvements so, uh, over stuff from the second game and all that and uh, I, don't, I don't know I, I I just like I like how this this game is basically Insomniac going over everything they learned from the first two games. Uh, and bringing like all all the best stuff from those, uh, Im improving improving on it, and uh, 
you know, just adding on top of it. Is they could. I don't know, uh, with like, with like Crash, like, um, you could, uh, I, I mean it can be argued um, wh whether or not you, uh, 2 or 3 is, is the best one, but the, the general, like, mo a lot of people uh, seem to say that it, it gets, like, gradually better and better, like, one, one's the weakest, two's, two's a lot better and three's the best. Um, Depending on who you ask, anyway. Whereas, like, Sparrow, um, I feel that's... It's a lot hard, it's a lot harder to, to um, say on that. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's as clear-cut as, like, one being the worst, two being better, and then three being the best. Like, it's a bit more complicated in Sparrow's case. Alright. Okay, so what I think we need to do, we need, this is where like some of the, this is like, the most complicated this gets I think, so we're gonna have to go back a bit and get a third mushroom seed, uh, by playing this now, I guess. Clever, they had the pink one bounce hop around to represent that it bounces. Oh yeah, that is a nice touch. I didn't notice that. I can definitely understand why uh, people would, some some people would prefer Sparrow Two in some ways. Uh, uh, again, like we've said before, like it's the most approachable, uh, especially when it comes to like newcomers. Um, How did like, he get here? He just kind of did a super jump. Like jaw drawn like a Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. I found the legendary golden goose. You can always do that game. <laughs> yeah, like 2020. Yeah, I'm. Man, I I'm kind of scared. In a in a way, cause uh, I do, I do, I do kind of. I'm kind of like, t um, thinking about like doing it 100, percent and yeah, that 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 will be that will be a, uh, one for the ages. Okay. All right, we seem to be good. So let's get out of it. If we can find the portal. I can just leave. Uh, oh yeah, we can. Forgot about that. Okay. Oh, I just realized the mystery jar probably reset itself after going through that. I don't know if it saves. It probably doesn't. Like, if, if it resets, um, like, trees for skill points, it probably doesn't save mystery jars either. It's just, I, th I think we, I think we went over. I think we had to redo that for one of the pan for the panda level. Yeah, yeah, it's up there again. Oh, I thought, I thought that frog was a gem. Uh. But yeah, again, I, I can understand like. Uh, if you prefer to, or if, you, if two is your favorite, because minus like a few annoying like mini games, um, is the most approachable out of the three games, I think. And uh, I don't know. And again, like I do, I do like the characters, and Avalar is my favorite. Uh, uh, favorite place as a just as a world in the trilogy. And like, in ju it's just in terms of like, uh, vi like visuals and stuff. There's a lot more to look at in the. Oh man, can't be, 
Can't be a scrappy playthrough without dogs at one point. <laughs> I think my food's here. I'll be back. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just finish my uh, thought with a... Uh, um... What's I gonna say? Uh... The... Yeah, Spyro 2 has a lot more to look at in terms of visuals compared to Spyro 1. Um, I think Spyro 3 still looks the best overall. I think there's the most detail here, but again, as a world, I still think Avalar is the most interesting. So, yeah, for you Spyro 2 fans out there, if that's your favorite game, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you that point. But you know, I still think the Forgotten Worlds are an interesting, uh, interesting world. In terms of just lore and stuff, the whole the fact of dragons used to live here, and like stuff happened, and then they went ended up going somewhere else, um, and they became forgotten. Uh, I don't know. The concept of all that is is uh, interesting, and the fact that dragons are like the source of all not all magic because there's clearly creatures that know magic in this in this world but like the, the fact that dragons are like magical in in this uh, in this world is cool and I don't know it's it's nice from a lore perspective I guess if you care about that stuff like Spar Spar is not really Super story driven, even though what I do, what is, what what the story is there does work not well enough. Actually, uh, let's take care of you first. <laughs> I love that sound effect. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go up there. Oh right, I forgot about that. I need the super plane for that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do two more loops. Oh no, oh, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm stupid. The, the, that was just the tower that the, the enemy moved earlier. Don't know why I bothered trying to stand on it. Right. I think we just have the uh, mystery, well, I, in the, uh, the witch minigame.
Oh, you're finally back. To kick some tail. What now? <laughs> DK rap. All right, so I I, went, I was uh, waiting for you because uh, we got another skill point here. So if I try and line this up, this is one of those instances of uh, you get a skill point for trying to go to an area you're not supposed to and just try and see where you can get to. This is one of those instances. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, good, we just respawn back here, so we can just do this again. This can be a quite a kind of a tight jump, so you're gonna have to... That might have been a bit too early. Yeah. Because you can just barely reach this. Ah, oh, dang it, the mystery job reset, because I died, dang it. There we go. Alright, <laughs> right, now we're just gonna... Yeah, let's just get the mystery job out of the way now, then. It keeps on respawning back to the first area, which is zero saying. Gonna stay, yeah. At least gonna stay like this because the guys are dead. Yeah, that is not the best place for the whirlwind, to be quite honest. Uh, this is this is a quite an, a cool level, though. I like I like the enemies. Um, platforming's nice. Um, the Sergeant Bird mini game is it's definitely his hardest uh, uh, mission in the game. <laughs> Should have looked where I was landing though. It's definitely his uh, hardest mission in the game. Um, but I think it is a good challenge. I, I, the, the, the little plot of the, of the levels, the level is pretty enjoyable, with a nice little twist at the end, I guess. I like this level because it reminds me of the old classic fantasy look that the old, that most of the Spyro 1 levels had. Yeah, that's true as well. Shoving fried rice in my mouth right now, like yeah. LPs and Chinese food, something go together for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I did, I didn't really, I haven't, didn't really think about it until like recently. But Spyro, a lot of Spyro One's levels have like this fantasy feel, where it's like, so, I, I, I don't know. I, can't, I, I don't really know uh, what it is in 2 or 3, but it can't, they kind of go for a, a completely different feel. Like, more of an anachronism stew. Hmm? Excuse me, more of an, an, an anachronism stew. Yeah. Like that. They went for more populated worlds and, I don't know, I guess... Yeah. Sure that automatically led to going for less fantasy based worlds, but it seems to have just kind of gone hand in hand for whatever reason. Yeah, some something like somewhere in the transition to making the worlds have more population, like the fantasy element kind of got lost in it. Like, I, I guess you can like just say, like, these are especially with uh, in as far as Avalos concerned, it's a completely different world. It's like from like the dragon realms and stuff, but I don't know. I, I, I kinda I think like looking back I do really enjoy the fantasy elements of the first game. Uh, 
and the fact that this level kind of brings it back a little bit is nice. Finally. Yay. Um, Wait, how did my sound go out? Sound go out? What? Sound on my end is gone for some reason. Oh, do you want me to change the start the thing again? If you can, um, is there a cutscene playing after this? Uh, well, when, when, when Hunter gets uh, trapped, it's not really a cutscene per se. Uh, Hunter just like gets trapped uh, in a cage, and and then it just goes to gameplay. It, it, it's not really a cutscene, cutscene. But I guess we'll okay. see after we finish this level. All right, let's go. Hey Spyro, I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? <laughs> oh, man. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. Okay, so this is... Um, this can be pretty tricky. Uh, what what they, what these w uh, witches do is they kind of... W when they um, see you, they kind of try and charge into you. They don't... I don't think they uh, actually shoot magic at you until like the third or second phase, but yeah, you want to be careful with this because um, so, you I have to do all three phases in one go. If you die, it's a stuff in the beginning, well, I, I think. Just hope your so accuracy is better than your punctuality, you have to be careful. Because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. And uh, if you shoot all the all the windows, you do get a skill point. So I would actually recommend saving that um, for it for like later on, so you can refill your health. So don't I, I wouldn't recommend doing it, get doing that right away because uh, once you get a skill point, you, I don't think you can get the extra life from it again. So get it when you need it. And again, uh, thanks to, as you know, you can strafe with Sergeant Bird. This becomes a lot easier than it would be otherwise, so. Yeah, make sure you know about that. Because as you, you don't, this can actually be really hard. I mean, it, it still can be difficult, even with it, but, you know. I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, be careful, no. okay? <laughs> uh. Yeah, you did. You never really had to. You never really like, wanted to touch the ground in the other phases anyway, so it doesn't really mean too much. So I get that skill point now. Yeah. There we go. I'm just gonna take care of two more. How did I not get hit? I swear I just got hit. <laughs> there we go, cool. You did it, James! I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Uh, so before we um, uh, wrap up here, uh, what, any uh, other thoughts on um, uh, this uh, Charmed Ridge, I think this level was called? Yes. Yeah. Any uh, other thoughts? It's oddly nostalgic. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Good selection of uh, just... It's so solid level design overall, really. Interesting gimmicks. Yeah. And my bag is in the complete tool for once. 
Yeah. Alright, so if it cuts. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. No! <laughs> that is gonna be so weird to. That's gonna be really funny in HD. <laughs> uh. That's, that's like the. Was it one of the few, like, actual, like, in game cutscenes? Because they. Like, Besides, like in-game in -game stuff is usually just like characters uh, talking to you in like, uh, like preset animations and stuff, and like all the other. I, I I don't know I don't know if you if you'd really count like the cut the the main cutscenes like in game because it doesn't feel like that. I can throw them in game just with really good camera work for a time. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, but I, yeah, I think we're gonna stop here because it's coming up to like half two in the morning, and the uh, oh, that bad Harry. <laughs> uh, yeah. You have to get up. You have to get up on time so we can sit through Love Live again. Oh, oh yeah, for tomorrow. Uh, oh, that's the first time we mentioned that now. <laughs> uh. But oh yeah, and um, by the way, Harry's next next let's play will be a Love Live mobile game. You heard it here first. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to record that. Uh, Just I record do... your reactions and I'd, I'd watch them. I, I do play uh, School Idol Festival, if anyone cares. <laughs> uh, and uh, I am looking forward to All Stars when they never release it because they still they still haven't given us a release date, but it's 2018 apparently. Uh, but, yeah, I'm deep, deep into idle hell. I don't know, don't know where this came from in a Spyro playthrough of all things, but, hey, it could grow up, and, uh, I'm slowly dragging Scrappy and Xavier in here with me, <laughs> uh, which is the front time. Uh, oh. regardless, though, uh, there's all the actual Spyro stuff, um, Next time we're going to be going through Fireworks Factory and, and boxing, and uh, yeah, doing annoying boxing and uh, frozen frozen ulcers. So um, yeah, please kill me. <laughs> see you guys. See you guys then. I guess. Have a good night, everyone.